So hi dear Libra, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a journal weekly angel messages reading for all the Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus rising from today till the 9th of June. Uh, I am going to pull three cards for you guys for the angel messages for this week, the, for the remaining days of this week and then one for your love life and then I am going to answer one of your questions from the angel answers oracle deck. If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey with Hope Ono Pono but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. Again, the link is in the description box for the same. And if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Libra. Okay, these are the messages that you should know right now according to your energies. Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus or Rising. We have the first message as perspective. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. So Libra, there's a better way to resolve a situation that you are, are currently going through or there's something that you are, you know, very stressed out about. So there's a better way to get out of that. Pause for reflection and insight. Understand uh, that you need to take a step back in order to understand the problem from a different perspective, from a different angle and dare to be different. So might be you are in this energy of not taking some kind of initiative from your side because it's too different or you might be thinking that it will uh, like send you out of the social circles or social norms or something like that. Just dare to be different this week. Okay. The second message we have is the change your life. A sudden revolution that offers freedom break free of procrastination embrace the opportunities that change brings okay you are going to get some kind of uh, sudden information about something and that's going to offer you some kind of freedom in some way shape or form it's going to help you to break, break free from something that you are still stuck on or attached to uh, break free from any kind of procrastination if you are delaying things uh, if you're delaying your processes or situations because of your own procrastination don't do that embrace the opportunities that change brings so change is the only constant libra and you have to go with the flow you have to uh, you have to embrace the changes that's coming your way and just go ahead with this energy of don't delay your things don't procrastinate your things because it's going to backfire in some way shape or form mm -hmm. delays are uh, highly not recommended right now the third message we have is the six of profile embrace your inner child new friends or rekindled relationships children or childhood okay so right now you have to connect with your inner child as much as you can new friends there will be a uh, energy of new friendships happening right now in your uh, energies or there will be a connection uh, you can say a reconciliation kind of a thing a connection coming to the going to the next level or you know if if a, okay there are chances of reconciliation with somebody from your past okay there are very high chances if not if your friendship is uh, going sour with somebody there are chances you reconnecting with a friend and uh, like uh, sorting it out with them or uh, something related to children or something related to childhood is, is very very important for you guys to heal so you should work on your uh, crown chakra and your heart chakra in order to get uh, the energies the good energies for this particular remaining days of this week when is it to saturday when is it to sunday i think i guess 9th of june it's sunday right Let's see for your love life for the remaining week for this particular remaining days of this week. Karmic relationship, feeling triggers, turmoil, resentment, letting go and loving you. So right now you might be in a karmic relationship that's about to end or that's uh, on the verge of ending and you're uh, getting triggered. You are getting this energy of resentment. You are getting some, some kind of lessons out of the situation. You are trying to let go and love yourself as much as you can. So there is some kind of connect some some kind of situation that's karmic and that's bound to end slowly but surely and you are feeling some kind of triggers and turmoil because of that okay cool let's answer one of your questions from the angel answers oracle deck please clear like close your eyes take a deep breath and ask your question very very thoroughly three times in your mind space and i'm going to give you 10 seconds for the same and your time starts now Okay, so the answer to your question is no need to worry. Meditation bring answers and ask for help from others. So if you are ready to take help from others, there are very high chances that you are going to get uh, your answers very loud and clear. There's no need to worry about something or someone continuously. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition is going to help you to uh, go in a particular direction that's actually good for you. Okay. Hmm. 
listening to your intuition means uh, like spending time with yourself as much as you can when you are silent when you are quiet and when uh, you when your heart and soul is telling you to go in a particular direction that is what listening to your intuition is actually and you know that that is the right direction your gut knows your body knows your energies know that that is the right direction okay so yeah this is what i have for you hope this helps so thank you so much for tuning in libra i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste